Beyond the azure waves, a deeper look, the Philippines. Many know this nation as an archipelago of stunning beauty. Its islands are fringed with white sand beaches. Crystal clear turquoise waters lap gently against these shores. Lush green rice paddies climb terraced hillsides, a testament to human ingenuity. Vibrant coral reefs teem with an incredible diversity of marine life, a dazzling underwater spectacle. This vision of a tropical paradise is indeed true. It draws visitors from across the globe, seeking sun, sea, and serenity. Yet, this is only one facet of a much more complex and ancient land. Beneath the surface of this idyllic holiday destination lies a profound and rich history. It is a history that is slowly, painstakingly being unearthed by scientists and archaeologists. These dedicated researchers delve into caves, excavate ancient settlements, and analyze forgotten artifacts. Their work reveals a narrative far older and more intricate than many might imagine. The Philippines is not just a collection of beautiful islands. It is a cradle of early human activity, a place where unique species once roamed, and where sophisticated cultures flourished long before the arrival of European colonizers. The story of the Philippines is a story of resilience, adaptation, and deep historical roots that connect us all. Whispers from 700,000 years ago, the Kalinga find. Journey with me to Luzon Island, the largest island in the Philippines. Here, in the Kalinga region, a discovery was made that sent ripples through the scientific community. Imagine a time long, long ago, a time when the world was a very different place. Scientists unearthed a collection of stone tools. These were not just any tools. Alongside them lay the fossilized bones of a butchered rhinoceros. The remarkable thing about this find is its age. These artifacts have been dated to an astonishing 700,000 years ago. This date is truly mind-boggling. It pushes back the timeline of early human presence in the Philippines by hundreds of thousands of years. This discovery is incredibly significant. It challenges previously held beliefs about when early hominins, our ancient relatives, first reached these islands. The Kalinga discovery suggests that these ancient beings were capable of crossing significant water barriers. Reaching the Philippines from mainland Asia would have required some form of sea travel, even if sea levels were lower. This implies a level of planning and resourcefulness that is truly impressive for such an early period in human evolution. It opens up a whole new chapter in the story of early human migration. Consider the implications. 700,000 years ago, this is a period deep in the Pleistocene epoch, often called the Ice Age, the enigma of the ancient artisans. So who were these ancient inhabitants of Luzon, these toolmakers from 700,000 years ago? This is one of the most compelling questions arising from the Kalinga discovery. Unfortunately, the site has not yet yielded any hominin fossils directly associated with the tools and butchered animal remains. Without these crucial skeletal remains, it is difficult to definitively identify the species responsible. However, based on the time frame and the type of tools, Scientists have a prime suspect. That suspect is Homo erectus, an early human species known for its upright posture and tool-making abilities. Homo erectus was a highly successful and widespread hominin species. They originated in Africa and were among the first of our ancestors to migrate out of the continent. Fossils of Homo erectus have been found in various parts of Asia, including Indonesia and China. Their presence in Southeast Asia during this period is well established. Therefore, it is plausible that populations of Homo erectus made their way to the Philippines. The stone tool technology found at Kalinga is consistent with the types of tools often associated with Homo erectus, known as the Aculean industry, though regional variations exist. Meet Homo luzonensis, a new human relative. Fast forward through the vast expanse of time from 700,000 years ago to a more recent yet still ancient period. In 2019, another groundbreaking discovery was announced from Luzon Island, this time from Kalao Cave. Researchers unearthed a collection of small, intriguing hominin fossils. These were not Homo erectus. They were not Homo sapiens, our own species. Analysis of these remains, which include teeth, finger bones, and a femur, revealed that they belonged to a previously unknown species of ancient human. Scientists named this new species Homo luzonensis, in honor of the island where it was found. 
The discovery of Homo luzonensis was a major event in the world of human evolution. It added another branch to our increasingly complex family tree. These hominins lived between 50,000 and 67,000 years ago. Decoding our ancestry, the Luzonensis puzzle. The discovery of Homo Luzonensis has thrown open a Pandora's box of questions for scientists studying human evolution. One of the biggest puzzles is its evolutionary origins. How did this unique species arise? One theory suggests that Homo Luzonensis might have evolved from an earlier population of Homo erectus that reached Luzon Island. Over tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of years of isolation, this population could have undergone significant evolutionary changes, leading to the distinct features seen in Homo Luzonensis. This process, known as insular dwarfism or endemism, is common in isolated island environments, though Homo Luzonensis's size isn't definitively small. Another intriguing aspect is the mix of primitive and modern traits. The primitive features, reminiscent of Australopithecus, are particularly puzzling. Did Homo luzonensis retain these ancient traits from a very early ancestor? The metal-absorbing marvel Rhinorrhea nicolifera. Shifting our gaze from the deep past of human evolution to the wonders of the natural world, the Philippines offers yet another extraordinary secret. This secret lies not in ancient bones, but in a living plant with a truly remarkable ability. Meet Rhinorrhea nicolifera a small tree found in the western part of Luzon Island. This unassuming plant possesses what can only be described as a botanical superpower. It is a hyperaccumulator of nickel. This means it can absorb and store incredibly high concentrations of nickel from the soil in its leaves and stems, levels that would be toxic to most other plants. The implications of this plant's unique talent are potentially enormous, particularly in the realm of sustainable mining. Nickel is a valuable metal used in stainless steel, batteries, and many other industrial applications. However, traditional nickel mining can be environmentally destructive, leaving behind toxic soils and scarred landscapes. Rhinorrhea nicolifera offers a potential solution through a process called phytomining, or agromining. This involves cultivating hyperaccumulator plants like Rhinorrhea nicolifera on nickel-rich soils. Ancient Voices Art and the Laguna Copper Plate The Philippines' ancient secrets are not confined to bones and plants. They also speak to us through art and early forms of writing. These discoveries paint a picture of complex and sophisticated societies existing long before the arrival of Spanish colonizers in the 16th century. One of the most significant finds in this regard is the Angono petroglyphs, located in Rizal province. These are ancient rock carvings, depicting human-like figures, animals such as frogs and lizards and other abstract designs. Etched into a rock shelter, they are believed to be the oldest known artworks in the Philippines, dating back to the Neolithic period, possibly as early as 3000 BC. These petroglyphs offer a tantalizing glimpse into the spiritual and artistic lives of the early inhabitants of the islands. The meaning behind the carvings is still debated by scholars. Were they part of religious rituals? Rituals of the Past Glimpses into ancient beliefs. Beyond grand inscriptions and ancient tools, the soil of the Philippines also holds clues to the intimate beliefs and rituals of its early peoples through unique burial practices. Across the archipelago, archaeologists have uncovered a fascinating variety of burial sites, each telling a story about how ancient Filipinos revered their dead and perceived the afterlife. These practices were diverse, reflecting the varied cultures that flourished on the islands. From elaborate jar burials to coffins carved into the shape of boats, these finds offer profound insights into the spiritual landscapes of pre-colonial societies showcasing a deep connection with ancestors and the spirit world. One particularly striking example comes from the Manungul Cave in Palawan. The Earth's unread chapters, what lies beneath. The Philippines, an archipelago of over 7,000 islands, has already yielded an astonishing array of ancient secrets. 
from the 700,000-year-old tools of Kalinga to the unique hominin Homo luzonensis, from the metal-absorbing Rhinorea nicolifera to the intricate Angono petroglyphs and the revelatory Laguna copperplate inscription, each discovery has added a vital piece to the puzzle of human history and the richness of this nation's past. These finds have not only reshaped our understanding of the Philippines' pre-colonial heritage, but have also contributed significantly to the global narrative of human evolution, migration, and cultural development. Yet, it is almost certain that what has been discovered so far is merely the tip of the iceberg. Imagine the countless other sites that lie undisturbed, waiting for the keen eye of an archaeologist or the chance unearthing by a local farmer. The diverse geography of the Philippines, with its numerous caves, remote highlands, and extensive coastlines, offers a vast territory for future exploration. Many regions remain archaeologically unexplored or underexplored. Who knows what other ancient settlements, unique hominin remains, or revolutionary technologies might be hidden beneath the soil, preserved for millennia. The potential for future discoveries is immense. Perhaps we will find more complete remains of Homo luzonensis shedding further light on its appearance and behavior.